I don't know how the views are gonna get better, honestly. So impressive. How's the water, Bren? Is it a bit chilly? It's a little chilly. We're Aaron and Brandon. If you missed our last episode, we had a busy couple of days wine tasting in Napa Valley, getting touristy in San Francisco, and hiking in Pinnacles National Park. I think my worst fears in life have been confirmed, and it's this guy right here. Now we're moving on to park number 19, which I actually visited with my family when I was just two years old. camping site about an hour outside of Yosemite National Park in a national forest. We'll be staying here for the night and then tomorrow morning we are heading into the park to check out Yosemite. This is one of the parks that Brennan and I have been most excited about so we're gonna get some good sleep tonight and we'll see you in the morning. Cold mornings call for hot oatmeal. We are a little cold here in the van. There's been colder mornings. We are about to head into Yosemite today and we are so excited for it. We watched Free Solo last night to amp ourselves up. We're not going to be climbing El Cap, but we're hoping to see it and really take in the beauty of Yosemite. Hello. Good. We've got the annual pass and a reservation. In every other national park, you're able to just go in. Maybe they have information for you on closures or whatever, but you just have your national park pass and you head right in. The difference with Yosemite is that you have to get a reservation ahead of time. So they're limiting the amount of people that can come into the park for COVID reasons. So you have to get a reservation and then use your National Park Pass to get in. Thankfully, we're off season and we didn't know about this until yesterday. So yesterday we got our reservation for today and we're all good to go. It was $2 and we got it on recreation.gov. If you are coming to Yosemite around COVID time, I would just be aware of that because we did see some people being turned away. So you don't want that to happen. Now we are heading to our first hike of the day, Sentinel Dome. pretty fun for Yosemite. I mean, people have hyped up Yosemite, Free Solo has hyped up Yosemite. I don't know, it just holds a high place in both Aaron and I's minds. We're super upset we can't do the Half Dome hike. They took the cables down, um, which means you can't climb to the top of the dome or else we'd be heading to do that at like 5 a.m. this morning. But we're still gonna see a lot of cool stuff in Yosemite and we're still pumped, but I, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed about that. We're just out of season, that's why. The cables came down right after Columbus Day, so just missed it. If we really like it, we'll come on back. We were worried about running into smoke here in Yosemite because our friends who were here a week ago said it was really smoky and it really obscured their views. Looking around, it's just blue skies. I don't really see any smoke at all. And our luck with the uh, smoke from the wildfires continues. saw a half dome. I just wanted a closer look. Obviously at the top of Sentinel Dome we're gonna get a good view but I don't know I just want to see it. We've been in Yosemite for like two hours now driving and we haven't seen it yet. It's just so impressive, so cool. I read it's one of the only hikes where you can see both El Cap and Half Dome in the same viewpoint. It's definitely it. Yeah. And now this is our first view of El Capitan, which is over 3,000 feet of sheer granite. It is one of the most impressive walls in the world. That's what they say. And by they, I mean free solo. <laughs>
for close to an hour, I would say. Just taking in the view, switching up our spots every so often to get a panoramic 360 degree view of this incredible place. I don't know how the views are gonna get better, honestly. Like Sentinel Dome wasn't even a top hike to do when I was looking through our guidebook. Highly, highly recommend The it. mountains aren't super classic mountains where they have like the snow capped at the top, but these are almost like rolling hills that are as big as mountains. It's unbelievable, it's beautiful. Unlike anything I've ever seen before, honestly. I am so happy that this is how we started our time in Yosemite so we could just continue to enjoy after getting almost this entire panoramic view of it. What do you think? Is it going to be the best park we've been to? I don't know if it's going to top Glacier, but it's up there. It might be number two. <laughs> I feel like I did not want to leave this place. I could have honestly stayed there all day, just packed more and more food. But there's so much to see in Yosemite. This is the very tip of the iceberg. A wonderful tip of the iceberg, but gotta continue on. Pardon the interruption, but I wanted to take a second to share my latest project with you. I've created a course on Skillshare, sharing my knowledge of video editing on Premiere Pro. This course will take you from being a complete beginner to publishing your first video on YouTube. Premiere Pro is one of the most professional video editing softwares in the business right now, so it's a great tool to have in your arsenal. So if you're interested, we're gonna put a link in the description for a two week free trial to Skillshare, not only to my course, but to the thousands of classes they offer on Skillshare. So I definitely recommend you check it out if you're interested in learning how to video edit. We'll go back to Yosemite now. Tunnel View is one of the most popular spots in the park and has been since its establishment in 1890 as you get a beautiful view of the valley. Fun fact, Yosemite Valley's development was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, who also designed Central Park and Prospect Park in New York. No wonder we felt right at home. Our next stop in the valley was to get a closer look at El Capitan. This is just nuts. It's insane to even just look at it. It's so impressive. I cannot imagine climbing this thing, even with like all the ropes. Give me all the ropes and I couldn't do it. And he, Alex Honnold did it without a rope. It's just nuts and terrifying. Also, there are so many other amazing mountains surrounding us in the valley. I feel like this has to be the most impressive display and collection of mountains there is. You have the cathedral, you have the three brothers. I'm blown away. When we were further away from El Cap, I was thinking, ah, I guess no one's rock climbing today. Couldn't see anybody. As we've gotten closer, it's almost like a game. We're pointing out all different people because it's so huge that these people look like ants. As you're up close and personal, you could really tell how smooth it is. So when they say it's sheer granite, like it's smooth. Why this is so impressive, I think, is because it's just straight up. Very minor curves and cracks to it where other places there's going to be way more handholds this is insane i can't even imagine climbing it like brandon was saying before with many ropes i can't imagine once again brandon refuses to eat out of a normal bowl i mean i just i'm gonna have to clean it immediately after so might as well just eat out of this bowl because if not I'm just clean another bowl for no reason we really only had salad ingredients left so i just cooked the pasta and then put it under some cold water so that it would be cold so it's more like a salad. That's good. I don't know, I'm learning a lot as we're That's van lifing good. because it's kind of like chopped where you only have a few ingredients you have to make something so it's kind of fun. It's good. Thanks. So we're doing one more hike in Yosemite before heading on to Kings Canyon in Sequoia. But we felt like even though we had an incredible day yesterday, amazing, we had to do one more thing. Unfortunately, in Yosemite, this time of year, a lot of the waterfalls are dried up. 
So couldn't do any of those hikes really. Before we left Yosemite, we wanted to see one more different perspective of the park instead of just these amazing mountains and cliffs and everything that we saw yesterday. I have a feeling that even after just one day, Yosemite is gonna be very high up on our list of our favorite national parks. Well, oh my God. This is crazy. When we were walking on the trail, we were walking on this like river, but it was completely dried up. I made a joke. Oh, maybe the lake is dried up. Just like offhand, not expecting the lake to be completely dried up. Like it is bone dry, just sand. I've never seen anything like this, except for actually in Argentina, when we were driving, in the middle of Patagonia, there was lakes that had completely dried up. Right. But I think this is just seasonal. Yeah. I think since the waterfalls aren't flowing down, there's no water to like fill the lake and it just dried out. It's pretty crazy. Which makes sense. I don't know why we didn't think, oh, if the waterfalls are dried up, then the lakes will be dried up. How's the water, Bran? Is it a bit chilly? It's a little chilly. You would be underwater completely right now. I uh, can't say I've been in a dried up lake. I'm really interested to research this and see if it's really just a seasonal thing. It has to be. But if so, it must be great. Like this is bone dry. Like it has to have been dry for at least weeks or a month, but it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful clearing. Wow. Well, this would normally be a five mile loop, but since we could walk right through the lake, we'll just head on back, right? No sense. Uh doing the five miles if you could just quickly see it and by it I mean nothing <laughs> and Ooh. continue on. So if you want to continue following our journey make sure to subscribe give us a thumbs up and follow along. We'll see you next week. Bad we didn't bring the paddleboard, eh? That's <sighs> what we thought it was gonna be 12 miles. I think it was only 1.2. No, I <laughs> think the guidebook was missing a little period there. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm so Alex Tunnel right now. And Free Solo, he does tree pose on a tree. You could tell we're obsessed right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little on edge because as we were entering this trail, it said beware of mountain lions. If you know me, I don't even like a house cat. You should go ahead and like this video and also subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week. We're not done yet. We're seeing them tomorrow. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow.